right? What kind of mindset? Well, either it's fixed or growth. How many of you are fixed mindset one? Anybody? Or how many of you are growth mindset one, right? I'm not so sure. Anybody is fixed one that can you just share with me? Growth. Wow, I, I'm very sure that many. Uh, only one person is growth. The rest is what? Or don't know what is happening, right? Of course, maybe just to share a little bit, right? What is the difference between fixed? Because why? For me, I'm, I'm, I'm someone that I will always believe in learning. I believe in growing. I want to improve myself. That is how I believe, right? So, what kind of mindset do we have? Fixed mindset are people who are what? There's two types. Fixed mindset is uh, impossible for me to own private. To be honest, 18 years ago, if you ask me, uh, Kelvin, can I believe I own private properties? I cannot believe because why? It's impossible. And we, I don't have the knowledge to do so. I don't even know how to go about doing it as well, right? Next, always people will say, well, no, la, no way, what? Impossible because why? Liability, because of cost, because of family, because of children, education. Yes, yes, yes. I agree and I agree. But can we stop learning? Right? That is important. And the other thing is that I need to save enough money before investing. And this is really the truth. You know, I met many people out there who are clients of mine last time, right? They say, Helvin, I need to save a lot of money before I can buy my second house. Actually, that is also my mom's theory, right? Our mom's theory is always what? Hey, son, please do not actually what? go and buy a second property unless you have saved, saved, saved enough to pay full for a house. I say, wow. Then, of course, by the time we save enough, uh, we probably age already. Because remember, one of the important factors that we must know is what? Our age. Age is the key point whether can we grow our wealth in a systematic way, right? But someone who is in a growth mindset always what? Very eager to learn. So give yourself a round of applause right? today. You are here today to listen to me because all of you are at what kind of mindset? Growth mindset. Eager to learn, eager to increase your knowledge. And I think that's important. And always look for opportunities. Yes. Very important. I think we today, uh, very important is what? How can we see opportunities? Which I'm going to share with you later on. Invest rather than save. Those people who really, really uh, believe in me, right? Believe in what we are doing, right? It's important one is to invest rather than save money. To be honest, to save money is very, very tough. I believe those people who are working for your company, generally, you look at how much we save every month. Is it easy? Actually, it's not easy. That's the reason why I always believe one thing. Even myself, I've worked for the last 18 years in a real estate business. Save money is not easy. I always believe in growing my wealth through assets. And that's why I want to share with every one of you today. One, Before we move on, before we even start anything, first we must have our right mindset to what? To learn, right? So the question is, my this is a million dollar question that everybody will be asking themselves. Is it the right time now? How many of you think it's the right time now? One say yes or no one or don't know one. Can I see the chat or not? One yes, 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 yes. Everybody don't know, right? I am very sure everybody is also do not know as well. Wow, so many people raise hand, right? Right. Well, I I I think yes or no, we will never know the answer unless it's what unless we research unless we do research. And that is important, right? So important, like today, we look at the stock market is crashing. We look at that. Well, first thing in mind, I, I, I think that there are a lot of people are very stressed up today based on unemployment, based on uncertainties, loss of income because of the virus. I totally can understand all our people fear in today's market. It's not that we do not have fear. All of us have fear. I'm not saying that all of you here must not to do anything. No, 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 no. Please don't do anything when you are not ready, when you are not safe enough. Because why? The last thing that we want to do is what? To invest in something and give us a lot of stress. We want to invest happily. We want to grow our wealth happily, but not so stressful. And that is important. And today my topic will cover all these things because why? I want every one of you to grow your wealth. But I also want you to systematic way. I don't want you to be stressed with your family. This is the last thing that we want our customer to be in that kind of situation. At the end of the day, everything is about planning. How do we plan to ensure safety? That's the reason my topic is like, can I be certain? Yes, we can be certain if we plan. But if we base on emotion, then that is called risk right let's see for them 
So the question is, should I buy now? What? A lot of people will say, say what? No way. Because why? Uncertainties, fear, worry, job delay. I, I, I totally can understand that. I'm not asking those people who jump in. No. Right? No, no, no. Please. Important is what? Let's learn. Let's learn. When you are ready, then we start. But if it's not ready, then don't start. But there are people who are ready. Think about it. See how can we work something out. See how can we grow in a sense, right? So later on, we slowly what? Move forward, right? So, well, there's two kind of judgment. Our judgment is based on logic or emotion. I would say that 80% of the people today will not do anything. Right? Why? Because our emotion state will tell us risk, fear, market crash, wait for things to happen, wait for price to drop, wait for things to go down. This is correct. Nothing wrong. Because why? Our emotion state will tell us. But I also observe, you know, one very important thing. People like to buy when everybody is what? Rushing, 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 rushing what? To take action. So is it the best way? So I always believe one thing. Eh? We must be what? Logical. So how do we base on logic? Like for myself, right? I, I would not go into property purchase based on emotion. I always want to look at what? Facts and figures. Facts and figures is the number one important thing. If we don't follow this guideline, then we are at risk. Because why? We are using our emotion state to what? To take action. And that's the last thing that we want to happen, right? So, but before I start off, can I ask everyone a very good question? This is logic now. Is of course today market people will say it's not a good time to buy here and there, right? If let's say for example today, I want to ask every one of you here, is co couple a good price to buy with a price tag of 2001? How many of you can say yes, no, or don't know one? Right? Not really, some don't know, yes. Why do I ask this particular question? Why do I ask this particular question? We always look at the newspaper articles and we look at the market is actually not good, but we didn't actually study the numbers. Whether the numbers make sense or not, whether the numbers is it right or not. So for me, right, yes, I agree that the newspaper said uh, yesterday URA just released the, uh, the price index dropped by 1%, the price index, right? So the truth fact is that it had dropped 1%. But the question is what? This price, is it right or not? How do we know it's right? Because I'm in the market, right? I've gone through two different cycles. I went through the SARS cycle. I have also went through the layman crisis cycle. And now is this COVID-19 cycle as well. I've gone through all these cycles. So the, the, the main thing is what? Every time my market is down, it's not that we are looking at the emotion side. No. We want to study. We must have an open mind. That's why I'm saying just now. Should we have a fixed mindset or should we have a growth mindset? That is important. If we have a growth mindset, right, I would put my fixed mindset away. I will start to look at the numbers. Logically, the number makes sense or not. Let's see further. So for me, is what? I will do what? I will do my research. I'll look at the numbers. Look at all these transactions here. Sloan Residences, Juniper Hills, Royal Green, One Holland Beach. Look at the per square foot. 2008, 2008, 2007, 2006. Even 4th Avenue Residences, which is at Bukit Timah area, is already transacted at 2003 plus per square foot. Well, this development is actually at where? At Newton. MRT station, Newton Market. And it's just like one stop to Orchard Road at 2001 per square foot plus. Of course, there are some higher, some are lower. Depends on the unit that you choose. No to worry, right? Most important is you. I, I just want to tell you one thing. Why am I showing you this example? Basically, I just want everybody to understand one thing. First, let's not be emotion. Let's look at the numbers. Whether the numbers make sense to all of us or not. Very important. Look at the numbers. Park Place Residences. Anybody know where it is? This is at District 14 in Paya Lebar area. Look at in District 14 in 2018 would be when the market, the market was climbing so high. And I tell you, everybody rushed in to buy. Look at the price they bought. 2002 plus per square foot. Is it a good price? Well, nobody saying yes or no, right? But the, the true fact is what? What do you need to see from here? 
if today District 14 can sell at 2,002 per square foot when the market was good, that's why I want to tell everybody, right? At the end of the day, what, what, what I'm trying to say is what? I'm not saying that this price is no good. No. This price is also good. It's just that whether is it the right entry, I do not know yet. Definitely in future, it will go up in terms of prices as well. But most important, because a lot of customers, a lot of people ask me, Kelvin, is, is it the right time to buy? I say, it's not about right time or not right time. It's about understanding the what? Numbers. You look at this, another Woolley residences. I'm not saying that Woolley residences is all transacted at 2,000 per square foot. There are some transacted at 1,008, 1,009, 1,007 plus. Have. But these are some of the transactions was done at $2,000 and above. But this is at Woolley, Potong Pasir, Bidadari area. But all these people buy when? Their time, right? So, why developable today like Koppel at District 9, Orchard Road, are not selling at a higher price or even the same as those that has been transacted before. Why? The very obvious truth here is, if it's not because of the current market situation, if it's not due to COVID-19, any one of you here, my friend, those people who are in this room, if you are the developer yourself, if it's the good time, will you sell your property at this kind of price where others have already transacted higher than what I've transacted? Ask for. You have to ask yourself this question. So, most important is what? Let's, I'm not saying that you must buy this. No, 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 please don't think so. I want all of you to think one thing only. Start researching. Don't let emotion stop us from learning and moving forward. That is the last thing that we want to, right? We want to do what? Research. That's why I want to show you this, right? Look at this. This is a SARS period in 2003, 2005. If anybody dared to actually enter during the SARS period, would they make more money? Look at it, 115%. Look at the second one, global financial crisis, layman crisis 2008. If everybody dared to take action, what would happen? Well, probably can make money again, 88%. Next, major cooling measures. Same thing. Has it gone up? Yes, it always has gone up, right? But I want to share with every one of you here one thing. A lot of people ask me, Kelvin, what if I buy a property today during a good time? Maybe I buy, will I lose money? I cannot say you will lose money. Why? As long as you don't sell, you will not lose money. Important, you must have what? Holding power. But you realize one thing. You see the drop? I want you to see one thing. Uh, the, high, the high, right? The amount that has increases at uh, 115% uh, versus the drop of 34%, right? Is it very low? Actually, it's very low, like comparison. That's the reason why you see from here, right? From the from the day one private property started, uh, did the prices appreciation appreciate? And most important is what? If you look at this, every time a lower is always higher than the previous low. Every time a higher is always higher than the previous high. Do you realize one thing? And, and that is the truth, you know. Why do I say so? Because why? It's important for you to understand one very important thing here is why. Why do I purposely show you this chart? Because I want you to understand, if today I buy something, if I did not uh, manage to sell it during the peak time, then it started to drop. Please don't sell it away if you feel that it's not comfortable. Can you wait for the next cycle? You see, the next cycle, did it go higher? Actually, goes. Can you imagine those people who bought during the SARS period, 2003-2004 period, if they did not manage to sell in 2007, they sell at 2014 and 15 or 13, did the price go up? Also went up as well, right? Important, what I want to share with everybody is what? Important must have what? Holding power. If you don't have holding power, that is called what? Stress, right? This is the last thing that we should what? Should have, right? Next, of course, right? Look at this icon. Those people who managed to buy during the SARS period, look at the profit margin they make. It's also huge, right? Look at this. North Park residences during 2015, they bought. And at that point of time, uh, to be honest, those who bought uh, North Park residences, uh, their prices uh, is about 1,002 per square foot. You know? Look at the price, 2,002 per square foot. In that point of time, uh, issue 1,002 is very very expensive. Eh? But today, look at the price they manage to sell. 1,006 per square foot, 1,005 plus per square foot as well. So you can see is what? 
as long as you have the holding power with a good location, generally you can see that the prices did it goes up. Actually, it goes up, eh? right? That is the powerful part about it, right? Right, you can see. Same thing. Uh, this is the property that I bought uh, in 2017. This is uh, River Valley, uh, Martin Modern. I bought it at $2,000.50 per square foot. Actually, when I buy this property, a lot of people ask me a question, Kelvin, why do you want to buy a 99 years leasehold property at this kind of prices? I say I have my reason because I've done what? My research. Let me show you. You see, uh, at that point of time, right? Let me see. Uh, let me show you. Uh, if you look at it carefully, uh, at that point of time, I have a choice. I can choose to buy Rivergate. Free whole property just beside me only at $2,000 per square foot. But I went to buy a 99 years lease whole property at 2050 per square foot. But eventually, what happened? Look at the charts. Why did I make this decision correct or not? Today, the price has gone up to what? 2006 per square foot. Eh? But you look at this river gate, it has went up to 2002 per square foot. Eh? Why is it like that? Why is there a difference between a new launch and a resale? How come the price is this way? People are saying, Kelvin, that's why I say it's very important. When I buy my property that time, I must do my homework. In fact, nothing wrong with what river gate. Right? Because there's a difference between new launch and the resale. How the developer helped to stage the price upwards. I'm very sure those people who invited you, my agents here, Promnex agent, right? They can probably advise you later on what is the difference? Why is it like that? I will, I will go through, right? Look at this uh, Martin Modern. Second floor unit bought at 2000 per square foot, 20 something per square foot. Look at the first floor, 2007 eh, per square foot. Eh. One floor that level differences. Eh, but the second floor owner already have 700,000 margin. Can you see that? Why is it that it's so different? A lot of people don't understand. People say, hey, how come my resale property don't seem to be moving as fast as what the new launch is moving? And, and the true fact is that how come the resale property prices didn't move as fast as a new launch? Actually, there's a reason why, right? The, the, there will be a reason because why new launch actually is a little bit different. The, the, the owner actually helped to stage, the developer actually helped to push up the price if the market goes upwards. And and when the market, just like when I buy the time Martin Modern, at that point of time, honestly, the market just started to move only. It has not even moved up fast yet. But because of this, uh, this thing, right, eventually it started to what? Move upwards. And as the market started to move, move in 2017, because why? The government do what? Government relaxed the cooling measure from four years SSD drop to three years SSD. Immediately, once the government announced this thing, right? Immediately, I took action. Why? I know that the next thing that is going to happen is what? Market is going to move. I have to act fast. I have to be faster. So that's why you can see, right? Why did I go in at that point of time? Because I know. Look at most of our property here, right? Generally, you can see, uh, a lot of time prices move up and down, right? Actually, a lot of them controlled by what? A control by how the market react how the cooling measure react, how the government relax the policy, tighten the policy. These are all the reasons that we have to see. And that's why after this, what, what happened? A lot of M blocks are went through, right? The prices start to move out. That's why I managed to what? Take the advantage of all these things that's happening, right? That's how it works. But let's look at this COVID-19. How long will it last? Well, you and me, we wouldn't know. Like what the government said, it may last a year, it may last a couple of months. We just hope that after 1st of June, everything will start to stabilize, everything will start to smooth down. But again, will this just stop like that? Will it forever be this way? We have went through the SARS, we have went through layman crisis. We all know that these things will not be for long, right? But when everything starts to stabilize, what will happen next? Just like China, this is one of the articles that I saw, right? 31st of March 2020. After the COVID-19 happened in China, after when the Wuhan things become more stabilized, of course, it's still not stabilized yet. Of course, I cannot say about the previous cycle. I cannot uh, I cannot say that, oh, this COVID-19 is different from the rest. Or oh, maybe the SARS definitely last time is different. Layman crisis is different. I can know. Actually, it's very normal when during SARS crisis, when during layman crisis, 
people also say that this is different from the last one. This is also the different from the last one. Just like just like one very important thing, uh, always people say, you know, last time, uh, you know, last time, this 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 word uh, to me uh, is called taboo, uh, taboo word, you know. Last time, uh, last time I should have bought that price. Last time uh, I can buy Rivergate at 1,000 per square foot. Last time. Uh, to me, I always tell people, please don't use the word last time anymore because why? If always is last time that price uh, Singapore is gone case. Uh, we are very thankful that Singapore is a very one. One thing Singapore government has done a very good job is that they do not crash the hit property market. Right? But generally, they will control. But generally, it will start to what? Once it controlled, it will start to relax and it will start to open again. So you, you can see that the, the markets eventually will still be an upstart, you know. That's why I'm saying is what? Important is what? Must have holding power. I will show you later on how I've gone through as well. Of course, when the market down, will I be spared? I also won't be spared, no. I will also face my own trouble as well. I will start to see my property prices drop as well. Later, I'll show you. 